I was involved in this blue and green drop project to coordinate the water quality sampling and to compile the report. Uh, the blue and green drop project has been conducted annually for the past 10 years. Um, just for clarification, blue drop refers to drinking water quality and green drop refers to the quality of sewage effluent that's discharged um, after treatment back into the environment. Um, the, the need for this project arose 10 years ago in a time when the Department of Water and Sanitation didn't publish any official blue and green drop results. Then Afri Forum stepped into that void to at least make uh, a contribution to making data public. In 2023, we conducted 193 drinking water quality tests um, through our branches across the country, so in all nine provinces. In 93% of the cases, if I'm not mistaken, drinking water quality is still up to minimum requirements. Um, they don't, it doesn't pose a, a risk for, for human health. But in eight of the towns where we tested, um, we found the drinking water did not meet minimum standards and was unsafe for, for human consumption. The, the trends that we see compared to previous years is very similar. So by and large, water quality, drinking water quality is still safe for human consumption, fortunately. What is alarming is if we turn to the, the green drop results, the, the sewage water, out of the 140 sewage, sewage treatment works where we tested, 19%, only 19% complied with minimum requirements for um, effluent discharge. That means in 81% of the cases, the water, sewage water is either not treated at all or uh, inadequately treated. And it still contains levels of chemicals and bacteria that ends up in the environment. And uh, once it ends up there, it poses a, a major health risk. Um, we've seen that earlier this year with the cholera outbreak. It just creates environmental conditions that um, promote outbreaks of, of dangerous um, diseases like cholera. So the conclusion that we draw from that is that our municipal sewage infrastructure is really at a crisis point. Um, and if, if urgent intervention doesn't happen, the risk is that our drinking water quality will also become affected. Yes, it's still okay, it is being treated, but just looking at the bigger picture of municipal infrastructure decay, what's happening with sewage water, it's not a far-fetched conclusion to make that we're really staring down a, a really serious problem with drinking water as well. From Afriforum's side, because we have a clear understanding of what, what's happening on ground level, uh, we engage with the local municipalities and present our own action plans of the steps that need to be taken. So in a sense, a lot of the work has already been done. So it's not necessary for Department of Water and Sanitation to start from scratch. So it's about engagement and um, yeah, working together and collaborating with the authorities. Our results uh, align and reflect what the Department of Water and Sanitation's own results say. And in fact, the department's results even point to bigger problems. So it just highlights the fact that urgent intervention is needed to, to solve the problem.